Hi, I'm Michael Smith for Nevada Trails. Today I have a very special show. I have Ted Nagel, one of my uh, all-time fans of. He, um, I met him years ago. I was taping a, um, oh, I think Lighting of the Tree in Gardnerville, and there was just about five people singing. And you had a really a glorious voice. And then since then, I've been trying to, and I've been successful of getting you on a couple shows to do some singing for me. And he's done me the honor to uh, come, and we're going to do um, oh, a show for you, and, and he'll entertain you. And what a glorious voice. How did you get singing? When, when did this start? Well, actually, I was raised with a musical family. In fact, the day that I was born, my sisters released an album. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> That's so. a pretty high level of... Uh, uh, of singing family. Yeah, so, you know, I'm the youngest of eight kids, and so uh, four of my sisters sang professionally, and uh, three of them was in, were in a group that uh, traveled overseas and entertained the troops. Oh, wow. During the you Vietnam mean that's like War. the USO type thing? That type of thing, yeah. yeah. It wasn't with USO, but that they had their uh, own traveling show that they did. Well, you, boy, you probably were immersed with all kinds of 78s and 45s. and. Yeah, in fact, my dad used to uh, collect 78 records. He had the largest collection on the West Coast at one point. Uh, but unfortunately, it was destroyed in the 1971 earthquake. Oh, geez. About 90% of his uh, collection came crashing down in the garage and broke his heart. So. Well, as far as yourself, did you help with practice with your sisters or they let you kind of help out with uh, background singing or anything? Um, not very much. I mean, you know, when we had family gatherings and everything, uh, of course, everybody sang. Um, some we wish they didn't, but, you know, <laughs> we still had fun anyway. <laughs> but you developed your talents from, um, was it from your par parents or from your sisters? Um, well, a combination. My, my dad had a great, um, a great voice and he sang with the girls sometimes too. And uh, so, you know, had lots of videos of them awesome. doing that. And the old <laughs> little, what's it called? Three millimeter, whatever that was called, yeah. Yeah, eight millimeters or whatever. Yeah, eight millimeter, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the little ones like in Chevy Chase and Vacation. Yeah. So anyway, um, I've had music around me my whole life. Uh, when I was in grade school, I was in uh, musical theater. I was in the and, choirs and theater. Yeah, I mean, I and all of a sudden I went through the change that. and I just, they wasn't, I wasn't invited back. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> I know. It was cool, though. In, uh, in Tulsa, uh, my family moved around a lot. And uh, I remember uh, people were passing out in church because they were all hot. And, and I just I loved it because I was getting more attention. <laughs> but it was fun. You know, it's, it's a teamwork. And you, you've always been a team player because I've seen you, besides that choir for the Lighting of the Trees, I see you at the melodramas, too. Yes, that's right. In fact, uh, we have a melodrama coming up uh, next month. Excellent. Um, it's going it's to be called... Battle of the Towns, or are you a Mindanite uh, or Garden of Villain? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not sure about that because Mindanite doesn't sound that bad, but uh, Gardner Villain? I don't know about the new people well, in town. Well, if you knew the history of the towns, it kind of well, says the story. But I was just going to say, if you're new to Gardnerville and you just bought a house, you might want to check out the, the, the past feud between Minden and Gardnerville. In the old days, they had them separated by a long stretch of space, and it was pretty cool. And then Danberg, he kind of owned the land between them, and he wouldn't let the railroad go any farther. So there was some ammonosity there and some, some yes, big that's building. all brought up in the play, and it's hilarious. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, then I'm spoiling it for the new people in town. But if you're new to town and you haven't been to a melodrama, you got to go because it's uh, quirky writing, but the cast gives it 100% of their guts, and you really feel it. And you've got talent, and you'll see him singing in a, in a little while. But... Everybody else is pretty high level, uh, too. I know we just talked to Diana Borges, and she's probably in that play, too. Yeah, in fact, she's the director. Oh, really? Yeah, on this one. So uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. It's, it's a real, you know, like you said, a quirky group of people, and we just have a lot of fun. Well, um, I consider them all stars. Uh, Diana, she's the one that does Sarah Winnemucca. Right. And she's, uh, she's a true talent, and we've had uh, Kim Capella. Is she in this one, too? Yes, she is. And mm -hmm. she's, she's got, and then you know, I've seen your talent. You're good. And then some other people you want to name? Uh, Linda Diego is in yeah, it, and yeah. she plays the heroine, and uh, I, um, I play a, a farm worker. A farm worker? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going any further into that. Oh, I don't know about this one. You're typecasting. <laughs> anyway, What's... our show is at the Dangberg Ranch. This particular show will be at the Dangberg Ranch on uh, July 25th and 26th. Well, I must say that's probably the most beautiful place to actually be in a... In a, in a melodrama because all you way you look around is either cows 
or you have the beautiful mountains or the, the beautiful clouds. It just it always seems to be or per- smoke in, in today's case. Well, I don't think it, it'll be out by then. What's the dates on that again? It's July twenty fifth and twenty sixth at yeah. six p.m. It'll be uh, it'll be a beautiful day, and um, we'll try to get that for uh, Douglas County Community Access Television if you can't uh, make it. But you got to see it in person. You can't. You can't watch it on TV. It's got to be seen live. Yeah, it's really a lot of fun. A lot of funny things happen. You know, a lot of ad lib. You know, that's just the the nature of melodrama. You know, oh yeah, a lot of ad lib stuff. And so, in the meantime, are you singing at sh- these farmers markets that you're doing? Uh, yes, I'm singing at the um, Sierra Chef Farmers Market, which is on the S curve in Gardnerville. There, all right, on 395 on Wednesday mornings from nine to one, and um, then I'm also singing on the 30th at the Minden Farmer's Market. That's next Tuesday. And, uh, of course, I don't know when this is airing, so it's probably long gone by then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you'll be there in the future, too, so we know it's, you'll be, you know, be coming right. back to it if it's too early for us. And then um, I also uh, run family karaoke in the park. Awesome. I remember and, we talked about that last year, and it went quite well, I remember. Yeah, we have a lot of fun, and people can come out and have a picnic dinner and bring their whole family, and anybody who wants to sing can sing, or anyone who just wants to come out and listen, they can listen. When was that again? We do that on Wednesday afternoons or evenings from 5 to 8 p.m., and that's at um, Heritage Park, which is about a block east of Sharkey's. Oh, that's a beautiful park. Yeah, it's nice. It's got that nice little pavilion there and everything like that. Well, that that pavilion, I can tape shows there, and like that's where I first met you doing the the Christmas uh, songs. The other one in Minden, I have a hard time shooting out of that one. It's kind of enclosed. Yeah. And this one would be a good place. Can we come and shoot that for the what show? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get. I'd like to have uh, the family aspect. Is uh, It's a good thing for public TV. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. And, uh, and you said you sing part of it, too. Oh, yeah. We do a rotation. How many ever singers are there? We just kind of rotate through them all, including myself. And, and uh, you know... I've had people, uh, last year I changed it to Thursday instead of Wednesday, and a whole bunch of people got complaining <laughs> because they were working in the gardens on Wednesday, which is right next to the park, yeah. and they enjoyed the music while they're working in the gardens. So this year I changed it back to Wednesday. <laughs> Wasn't well, that like, kind of like a, a family plot where you can get a plot and uh, work on your garden? And, and it, something like that, yeah. yeah it's a it's community a town, garden. town garden. Right. It's That's really probably nice. worth checking out, too. It is very nice. And... Uh, so besides that, you know, I, I sing, I do a mobile DJ and um, mobile karaoke shows. Well, I think I, I saw you in the parade. Was that your DJ thing flying by? Exactly. There should be a speed limit on that thing. Well, you know. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> if I go too fast, it reminds me because the wheels start to wobble, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really messes with the sound, so I have well, to be careful. You had good music. I was noticing that you weren't singing, though. <laughs> yeah, actually, I sang the whole way. Oh, wow. Well, I thought yeah. that was pipe. That was your pipes. That was my pipes, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, we're, we haven't aired the parade here on public TV, so maybe we'll give that a shot to see how you did. Cool. No pressure. <laughs> it's fine. I love to sing, and that's why I got into the business. And uh, I love to entertain, and I love to make people's, you know, weddings and stuff like that go good. And so, here I am, uh, several years after starting, and things are growing slowly, which is good. And uh, I'm uh, evolving into some new areas. I'm going to be doing some some videotaping as well. And, awesome. And some. Hopefully, very soon, open up a recording studio. Awesome. And so, those well, are all the things I'm any, doing. Well, if you ever need any help, let me know. Bobby, we'll, absolutely. We'll try. And then, uh, as far as your uh, karaoke business, uh, how can people track you down to have you know, a, a, an event of some sort? That'd be fun to have a party and bring you in. Oh, absolutely. Um, well, they can call one eight six six two music T O M U S I C. And so uh, that's my uh, toll-free number you can call to book, or you can go on the website at uh, rollingthundernv.com. Well, I love that name, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> that's pretty good. Appreciate yeah, it's, it's, we'll see him in a couple minutes. He's a, he's a true talent, and we should really uh, uh, give, him, uh, give him all the work he deserves because you do a lot of charity events, too. Uh. I do. Sometimes too much, but, you know. Well, I love the community. So. It's, it's, you've been working hard for a lot of years, and... Uh, and we try to get you out there. I hope we remember. In fact, it was like two years ago. You had about a whole bunch of the people from the, the plays on doing doing music here. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. What such talent? 
yeah, this area has a lot of talent, and, and I just love to promote it the best I can. You know, there's a couple people I've met recently who just sing for fun and never had any formal training, but they sound professional. So yeah. I'm going to try to start working with a couple of those and help train their voice to the professional. And and uh, Let's try to do that again, get some of your friends and just, just do a show. That'd be fun. Okay. Well, it's been Michael Smith uh, reporting for with Ted Nagel, and uh, hey, don't change that dial. You're going to see some good stuff. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Ted Nagel, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of this show. Looking forward to singing for you today. Enjoy the show.
I know you send me, darling, you send me. Honest you do, honest you do, honest you do. At first I thought it was infatuation But oh, it's lasted so long Now I find myself wanting To marry you and take you home Whoa, you, you send me I know you send me I know you, you, you send me Honest you do It was infatuation, but oh, it's lasted so long. Now I find myself wanting to marry you and take you home. Oh, I know, I know, I know you send me. I know you send me. Time to 
go home now And I've got a naked head So I give her the car keys And she helps me to bed And then I tell her As I turn out the light I say my darling Darling, you were wonderful
So oh. 